The Hollywood community in the Roseau Valley has demonstrated its resilience and potential for economic survival. On location today, Primus Hutchinson visits the community to explore the relationship between a locally based company with traditional links to Hollywood and residents of that community. The name Hollywood is synonymous with movie stars, glamour and excitement. The Hollywood in the Roseau Valley, however, is the extreme opposite of all the superlatives associated with the movie industry. On location today, let's discover whether this colonial tradition, which created much excitement in the community, continues to influence the livelihood of Hollywood. Morning. Hello. We are GIS. Morning, sir. And we are here to do a very special production on St. Lucia Distillers. Oh, welcome. We're pleased to have you. Wonderful. The pleasure is I'm Margaret Montplaisy, Human Resource Director, and we have Angus okay. Benjamin, okay. our distillery manager, here to take you on a tour today. So, so so let's proceed, by all means. This is our propagation tank where we add yeast to the molasses in order to make our rum. Now this is a very concentrated mix here where we start and from here it is pumped into our fermenting tanks. We go first into a mother tank. From the mother tank we then fill the other tanks. If you put your hands over you feel the heat. The St. Lucia Distillers has been around long enough to be accepted as an institution in the Hollywood community. Many of Hollywood's elderly earned a living either by working on the cane plantation in the 1950s and 60s or inside the now defunct cane factory, performing minor tasks which all led to the manufacturing of local white rum from the molasses extract. At present, the new St. Lucia Distillers has taken over the production process. Well, St. Lucia Distillers goes back a long, long way, and I'm sure you've heard that um, it's to do with the Barnard family, a, a local St. Lucia family. Um, they merged and actually set up here in the 1960s. Mr. Barnard will give you the exact date, time, year, and everything. Um, so it's, it's been around a long time. Um, we are, and possibly our most famous product is Bounty, Bounty Rum, um, which more than likely you have drank. <laughs> oh, sure. All right. <laughs> so, um, but we do make a lot of other things. Um, we are also very well known for our liqueurs, and our most popular liqueur right now is Nuts and Rum, which is a peanut punch, um, and that we're doing very well with, especially in the export market. We are one of the few islands that actually can take the molasses ship right there at, at the bay. Um, so we don't have to truck it, we can pump it straight up. Um, and what happens is that that is a pump house. So it, it brings in the molasses and it pumps it up to our tank for us. And we've been using that again for very many years. Angus Benjamin, a resident of Hollywood, has been with St. Lucia Distillers for 21 years, having started in 1978 as a floor sweeper, then moving up the ranks to assistant manager. As I said, I'm from there, and there are quite a few people from the Hollywood area who has worked here before and are presently working here. Alvin Francis is another Hollywood youth who started with the company in 1987, also as a floor worker. He, like Angus, has worked his way up the ranks to become a supervisor. Whatever I was asked to do, I do. I always don't work on time, you know, and stuff like that. I always do my work the way that it's supposed to be done. Alvin is also the chairman of the Rosa Hollywood Development Committee. He laments the long neglected years of the community, but remains optimistic. Last year, we, we renovated some um, two sets of houses there, which was badly leaking, which have old people living in. Um, we renovate two, two of them. Um, right now we are in the process of um, building the drains. And we have some other stuff coming up. The people now seeing that the development is doing something now, you know. And now they're trying to get into the, because it's a, it's a, it's a group of young of us, like I'm saying, um, given that Rosu have see, probably around 300 people and just 10 of us in a development committee. And it's, it's very hard. St. Lucia Distillers has come a long way from the 1960s to its present status, producers of a wide range of spirits. But why isn't there more Hollywood residents employed with the company? The Rosso, Rosso self, Hollywood, you don't get the, the quality that the company is looking for, for. 
from Rizzo, but they do get some people, some people you know, so. because um, it, 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 it comes to the educational le um, yeah. backgrounds okay. and so on, you know. Okay. They don't really been to university, yeah. some of them. You know, we have we have some some people from okay. Rizzo who has been to university, okay. but it's not um, what the company is looking for. They don't really have these yeah. kind of people from the Rizzo community. Housing and unemployment are two critical concerns of residents in Hollywood, Rozo. Government, too, is expressing concern for the social and economic conditions of the area. The St. Lucia distilleries have been helping Rozo in a, few, in a few little ways. But I think there is still much room for improvement. There is quite a lot, a lot to be done in, in, in Rozo. And we need the help or we need the assistance of the St. Lucia um, distillers, and not they alone, but also from the, from, the private, from the private sector, right, and other charitable organizations. St. Lucia distillers has embarked on a tourism drive, which provides an insight into the historical developments surrounding the company. They are also planning to implement an arts and crafts project involving the older structures in the compound. This should give the Hollywood community a much needed boost. What we are trying to show them is that we have a history of cane and, and rum making going way back ourselves. Um, it's doing very well. I think this year we will do about 10,000 tourists through here. So very encouraging indeed. Um, and that is only the start of what we think we can do in this area. In other words, to have um, arts and craft people in there um, actually making the straw work and anything that, that, that can make an interesting tour or part of the tour uh, and we're hoping that the community will do that not us um, and, and that is the idea so if we need a blacksmith shop to show the old days we'll put that in and so on um, and revive all of those uh, buildings as they were Th that's the idea to try and bring it back as close to 18th century as we can I would be happy if the people of the community could you know come forward and then so that the company could help them to develop them educationally and so on yeah. because these are um, uh, the people from the community self they have to be educated you know they need education for them to go along with with the times okay. Faire ça nous peut. Et puis c'est même comme il y a, quand on s'abonne de chemin avant, on a gagné des. Puis moi, il veut, il veut aider pour nous tenir toilettes, pour nous tenir bathroom, pour nous tenir um, l'autre facilité. The Hollywood Rosa community is targeted to be included in government's national housing plan for the year 2000 2003. And in this plan, Rosa stands to benefit from that housing plan because already government has identified something like 40 acres of land at Masque for housing, right, for low-income people, right? Houses that are affordable, and I believe this program is very good, especially as the people of Rosa will benefit from the national housing program. I think the community needs some more improvement from the St. Lucia Distillery Limited, which is um, the main company in St. Lucia, and which they don't have no um, other company or no other factory in St. Lucia that does make alcohol and they are the only company in St. Lucia that does make alcohol and it is in Rosso in the old sugarcane mill. The fact that Angus and Alvin were able to overcome the impoverished and social conditions of the Hollywood community is a strong indication of the potential that exists in the community waiting to be explored. Perhaps you and I can do something about it. Why not come on location sometime and explore the possibility of working with the Hollywood community in helping to realize the dreams, visions and aspirations.